Pit and Weem, a quaint village on the east coast of Scotland, are a cradle of witchcraft, that magic paganism and death. Are there witches in Northern Britain today? Six months ago, in the very forest you're now looking at me lounging about in now, Roderick Morris, a man very much like you or I, was killed in the very forest you're now looking at me walking about in now, allegedly as part of an ancient witch's ritual. Here I am at Fish and Ween Pish Chips Bar. This is Ramsey, local chip shop worker man boy. He made the grisly discovery of the man Mr. Roderick Morris's body. He did not report this for several days. So I just finished my shift and I was walking home. I walked through the forest like I always do and then it, I stumbled across this body and it was all covered in mud and blood and stuff. And anyway, I, I just went straight home. Uh, I didn't tell anyone about it because I was, I had just finished work and I was starving. So I just went home and then I had some dinner and then I felt much better after food. This was fascinating, but there were more people to interview. I spoke with two perfectly normal, local salt of the earth, local pit and ween women, or pit and women, Isla and Iona. What did they make of all this talk of witchcraft? There are no witches here. No, none of that kind. And anyone who says such a thing is a fool. And a liar. Anyone who says that there are witches in pit and ween should leave. And die. Yes, leave and die. Death. I was falling in love with them. Their sense of joy and fun was untethered. Nonetheless, my investigation must continue. The rake, a humble garden tool, or in the wrong hands, an instrument of death. Ah! Roderick Morris was killed with a single blow, with his own rake, to the neck, like so. To get to the heart of the matter, I perhaps need to speak to the woman who knew him best, and best. His widow wife woman, Miss Dorothy Morris. Miss Dorothy Morris. Do you believe that murder was involved in the m murder of your late husband and witchcraft? Or not? And so our investigation draws to a close on its end. Could I have been wrong? Was there in fact no occult involvement in this crime? My satisfaction of being proven correct was almost outweighed by my imminent death. They were all in on it. Dorothy, the two perfectly normal pit and weed women, or pit and women. Even the fish shop man boy. I had so many questions. Where had these people come from? How long had they been here? How was I recording this voiceover? Was I speaking to you, kind viewer, from the other side of death? And why were my camera crew continuing to film rather than rescue me? So we leave, Pit and Weem. It has been an honour 